So this weekly is a little bit different. I'm going to talk you through the family holiday to Butlins Skegness that I went on last week. I'll let you know all the little details. It was February half term for a lot of people actually. So yeah, it wasn't too bad though. I thought it would be a lot busier. Obviously that place is always a little bit busy anyway, but no, it took me about three and a little and bit hours to the get journey there. journey was all right to be fair. So yeah, this is me here for the week with my little suitcase and showing you that I'm there for Skegness. The toilet was closed in the station, which was so sad because I really needed a wee after the long journey, but never mind, it was fine. There was blue skies at the beach. It was actually really nice. You could see really far. And my outfit for the day was that. This was us ice skating. It was brand new for this year. And I think it's because half the pool was closed. So that's one of the new activities they'd added. Obviously, I did fall over, but it was fine. <laughs> you just get back up. Just you forget how hard the shoes are. So it did hurt my feet a lot. That's all I would say. This is my dad and my sister and me all skating, me gripping on for dear life because I was going to fall over. <laughs> this is Charlotte's friend Lorcan and me and her and my stepmom. We all made coasters and yeah, we were with two of the families so it was actually really nice. Nice seeing them all again. This was me getting forced to dance by my drunk dad and his friend. <laughs> um, the silent disco was a lot of fun shall we say <laughs> I haven't actually been to one before but yeah the scenes <laughs> so always the finger jumping up and down like yeah <laughs> um it was just very fun Get in the car, you need to this was me annoying Charlotte because she had no clue who any of McFly or Busted they had a tribute act and she was like what is going on what is happening and of course, this was from our last day. Of course, it's sunny when we're leaving, but it was really nice. Another addition they added for this year was the circus. I thought it was really good. Um, it lasted a long time as well. And both that and the, and the ice skating were free, so you didn't have to pay for it. I think it's because half the pools were closed, so they kind of had to reinforce different activities for you to do. That was me showing you another outfit and another nice sunny morning and the next clips are us at Whipsnade Zoo so enjoy that as well Honestly, the red panda was the cutest thing and you rarely see them half the time. So, how cute. I just love them. Keeping the ball on and it's only closure again mm. Too many babies. They, of course, had a petting zoo and I really wanted to stroke one of the goats. This one wasn't the cutest. I apologise um, to you and the goat, but um, I wish they kind of had like a farm experience, like there was a whole farm, but you could only pet the goats. I wanted to pet more of the animals, but that's just me, <laughs> me as a grown adult. <laughs> and that was my little rundown on my holiday to Butlins and Skegness and where we went afterwards because my dad lives in London so we went down to the zoo on the Saturday. Overall the Butlins holiday I think they've done very well for what they're going through at the minute with the pool situation because normally you would have a normal main pool, a wave pool, a pool that's got a slide and a cave and a um, indoor rapids and then a baby pool so you would have four pools in total along with the outdoor rapids and the flumes however the only pool that was open was the baby pool and then the outdoor rapids and the flumes were open that was it 
there was nothing else open they were having boiler issues so i think adding the extra free events on with the ice skating and the circus to be able to book or the ice skating was you just turn up and hope they have a space sometimes you'd have to wait a little bit but it wasn't too bad genuinely we just walked in most of the time overall it was a really good holiday and probably go back next year <laughs> but i know they're doing some more renovations and they're getting more um log cabins there so that'll be interesting to see if we can have a look little look around and yeah the shows this year we went to see abba again they're always really good they had a queen tribute act i thought that was very well done we went to a meatloaf one that was a little bit underwhelming i probably think it was half of the room didn't know the songs so that's why there wasn't that much audience participation and also personally i don't really know that many songs i knew like little bits of different songs but that was about it and the mass singer kind of let me down this year i can't lie um unlike last year where we had two celebrities to guess i thought that was really good this year we only had one and i don't know i felt like they didn't have a lot of rounds this year it didn't feel like a full show kind of felt like half a show um but that was just my opinion anyway i would still go watch it because my curio curiosity would want to know who's behind the mask i don't think it was as good as last year's mask singer that's everything now on to the rest of my normal week Hello, good morning. <laughs> My hair's gone so puffy. Um, it is early and I'm going to make my breakfast. It is currently 13 minutes past six in the morning. I've already done my lunch for the day. I like to make it before I go. This is my little work bag. It's a Harry Potter one, my dad got it me. It's from Typo. <clears throat> I sound very tired. <laughs> I'm gonna have a bagel with honey on. A little mini workout when I come back. Only a little one, because I'm in for such a long time. We have this bagel cutter that I just couldn't live without because who can, who can cut bagels? I'm going to go drink my milkshake it's a protein one and i'll see you later <laughs> this lion will see you later <laughs> looking for investment pieces without the investments we've always got it is tuesday and it feels like it should be friday already this week is already it's been literally two days i've cooked it's because i've come back after a week off, I've just been like, oh, oh my gosh. Um, I'm playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. Because this, this is how it goes. <laughs> and Luna's on my lap. I'll show her, she's there. Just chilling. I think we're going to watch the second episode of Married at First Sight tonight. It's Married at First Sight Australia. I didn't watch any of the other ones. But I'm going to watch this one because there's nothing else to watch at the minute anyway. So, going to do that. Clang, clang. Clang, clang. <laughs> I see one. Serious, kid. Hmm? I said serious. Wee. <laughs> Wee. We did a cheers, but I don't know why I didn't film it. I just took a picture of our teas for you. That's the mug that I got Stefan for Valentine's Day. And yeah, this was the different levels of our jam. I can say I will have a little bit more jam than I put on that day. But it just made me laugh because there was more. But yeah, now I will show you our Thursday's night out <laughs> with work. So yeah. Enjoy the karaoke, enjoy the chaos. Annual campaign that raises large training funds to help end, end the cycle of poverty in their children. <laughs> Yeah. It's time to spread these big 
hard to hate, his body and his sweat are vain. Lost the game, he's nervous, but the service is his car remains. Hey, I need you back in my arms. I need love to be all good. It's getting so cold. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's gonna kill me for that but i hope you enjoyed the whole vlog from butlin's overview to works karaoke what a time i've had at the minute and we raised money for comic relief as well doing the karaoke so that was all fun and games but yeah thanks for watching give it a big thumbs up if you did please subscribe if you haven't already it would mean so much to me if you want to continue watching my little life and yeah I love you and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Slow down, hold on tight now. It's okay to me.